Hello, good evening, everyone. Um, whew, that short rib was so delicious, my God. Um, right off the bone, Jesus, okay. <clears throat> it's important that we continue to recognize and celebrate those in our community who break, in, who break barriers and inspire the next generation to be exactly who they are. It is my extreme honor to present the Center's Trailblazer Award to an amazing woman who's doing just that. A screenwriter slash producer slash actress slash fashion icon uh, slash smoking hot sex symbol and friend of Beyonce, <laughs> Lena Waithe. I might have assumed the friend of Beyonce part. We don't have to confirm or deny. Um, the Trailblazer Award is honoring Lena's commitment to advocacy and our shared vision of justice and equity for all. There is so much progress to be made on LGBTQ rights in New York and across the country. We rely on bold and fearless voices like Lena's to move us toward a brighter future. I personally like to joke about Lena possibly being Jamaican or the degree of that because she has all of the jobs that exist. She has 50,000 jobs. I don't know if you've paid attention, but every job is hers. Westworld, I mean, I love, I love Westworld. And with all of these jobs, Lena has elevated the voices of the LGBTQ community and people of color with projects at BT, Amazon, Showtime, and HBO, just to name a couple. Lena is a mentor and role model for young women of color and has taken an active role in providing opportunities for other artists. As the founder of the Hillman Grad Network, Lena and her team are providing free resources, opportunity, and access to emerging artists in the entertainment industry in order to increase the amount of diverse representation in media for those in front of the camera and behind the scenes, including ashy little black folk like me. So, in other words, in shorter terms, she's an icon, she's sickening. Get into it, touch the hem of her garment, and be made new. So, with that said, thank you so much, Lena, for all of your hard work. Thank you so much for elevating us, for cultivating us, for protecting us. You're amazing. I'm so honored to be here and to do this for you. Everybody, please welcome to the stage tonight's Trailblazer Award honoree, Lena Wait. I look to you, I look to you After all my strength is gone And you I can be strong I look to you, I look to you Wow Now when my little bees are gone And you I can hear a song Thank you, thank you, Fury. Appreciate you, brother. Um, wow, I just want to thank everybody um, right now. This is amazing. Uh, Y'all played the Whitney when I came out. <laughs> May she rest. I think I requested another song, but I think that was God saying, "No, the Queen Mother must sing for you as you walk up." Uh, and you chose well. You chose well. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to Freddie. I don't know if where he is in the room, but. Um, thank you for standing strong. Thank you for knowing that this world needed you. Um, thank you for your words. Thank you for being here tonight. You really inspire me. Um, yeah. Um, but I do, I want to thank everyone. I'm so honored to be here. Um, thank you again, Kid Fury, for presenting me with this award. I want to thank the LGBT Center, uh, the staff, that you guys work, do amazing work. Uh, it's God's work. Um, and thank you for creating and keeping a safe haven that allows us to be ourselves unapologetically. Um, <clears throat> and to everyone that calls this center home, as you see me standing here before you, I want you to know that I see each and every one of you. I see your struggle, I see your pain, I see your trials, but I also see the beauty inside of you. I promise to always bring you with me wherever I go, whether it's on the steps of the Met Gala, on the cover of Vanity Fair, or accepting an Emmy, 
in front of millions of people, you all stand with me. It may look like I'm standing there alone, but I'm standing there with you um, because I can't stand there by myself. I need your strength, I need your pride, I need your sledge. Uh, I can't do it on my own. Um, you are the reason why I will never bow my head. You're the reason why I'll never wear a dress to an award show. Um, and you are the reason I will never smile when a photographer asks me to. Because I don't have to. If I don't want to smile, if I want to give you the smiles, that's what I'm going to give you. Um, uh, but I promise to always be my authentic self, even when it makes others around me uncomfortable. Look, as an artist, it's my job not just to tell stories, but to tell the truth. It's my job to show us ourselves, even the things we don't like to look at. When it comes to queer visibility, we've come a long way, but there's still so much work to be done. There are still sections of our community that have been shut out of the mainstream, so we must continue to speak up for them. We must not only give them a seat at the table, but we must start to build more tables so that everyone has the opportunity to sit, the, sit at the head of their own table. And look, this, earlier this afternoon, I went and sat on the stoop of Lorraine Vivian Han Hansberry's brownstone. Yes, Lorraine Vivian Hansberry. Even her name sounds like a poem. Uh, she died at the age of 34. I'm 34 years of age right now. And what was so interesting to me is that because her life was so significant, her brownstone can never be torn down. It is deemed a historic landmark. So it just sort of made me think that when you look into the mirror, you wonder about your life and look at the four walls around you. And if you died today, would someone just easily be able to tear those walls down? Have you made enough of an impact on this world where we want to honor the floors in which you walk on? We want to cherish the bed in which you sleep. Please remember to always make sure your life counts. It doesn't mean you have to bend the world, but your legacy will always live on. So make sure it's an important one. And the reason why her home is a historic landmark is because she told the truth. She told the truth about what it meant to be black. And it wasn't always pretty, but it was honest. So my goal as a writer is for all of you to see yourselves somewhere other than just the mirror. See if I can make at least one person in the LGBTQIA community feel comfortable in their own skin, then I have done my job. I, I am an example of what the future can look like. Out, proud, and unapologetic as fuck. So, Here's hoping my life is one worth treasuring long after I'm gone, not because of the awards I win or the movies I make, but because of the impact that I've made on people's lives and that they look at themselves and see the God in them. And that they, when they look at me, they may think that it's all glitter and gold, but know that I am made up of the same stuff that you are made up of. And we all have the same 24 hours. I know Beyonce does more in hers, with hers than we do. But whenever people come up to me and say their name and say it's an honor to meet me, I'm always reminded to tell you that it's my honor to meet you and to make your acquaintance. I can't be an icon without you being an icon. We're all icons. We're all trailblazers in our own way. So please, I ask you to keep blazing your trail because you're lighting a path for someone else, whether you know it or not. So with that being said, I want to thank you all again for this honor. I'm so grateful. I God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much.